What is up, Nuggets? It's your boy, Killer Pizza, here with a brand new video for you rascals and rap scallions out there. As you can see from the title, this is going to be an unboxing for the Child's Play 1 through 3 4Ks from Scream Factory. And if you collect physical media or anything like that, boutique labels, uh, you would know I'm very late to the party. These actually came out this past Tuesday, but I pre-ordered them through the Scream Factory website, so I got them a week ago from today. And I was going to film an unboxing then, but I actually had a wrestling match the day before, a tag team ladder match for IWE, and I was just so banged up and tired from the show, I just was not in the mood to film anything. And I'm actually filming this right now before I go to another show, so I'm very tired. You guys know I'm not a morning person, but I figured I have to get this video out. You know what I mean? What kind of horror blu-ray collector on youtube would i be if i didn't do an unboxing of the 4ks because as you can see if you search this everybody's done one i'm late to the party but i don't give a damn i want you guys to check out these movies and with that being said i actually cheated because i've already opened it i opened this when i got it i was just too excited i haven't uh watched any of these yet uh and i want to do some long form reviews of one two and three about the transfers and just the movies in general but We'll do that another time. Let me just show you what I got here. So, the Scream Factory bundles of the 4Ks came in multiple different sets. You could get just the three uh, 4Ks. You could get the three 4Ks with the poster. You could get the three 4Ks with the poster and a NECA figure. And then all of that plus a pin set, which I'm not really too into the pin sets. But I'm thinking, honestly, I might I might start getting them moving forward. I just don't really have any room to display these pin sets, but they might be worth a lot of money in the long run. Not that that's really what I'm in this for, but anyways, on to the video at hand, the Child's Play 4K. So it comes with five posters. This is kind of the pin set dilemma because I have tons of tubes in my corner right here. You can see that I just don't really have room for, but... You know, you get these free with pre-order, so I figure, why not? This comes with five. I don't, like I said, I don't know if I need five Child's Play posters, but we have the original artwork from part one, original artwork from part three. There's the part two artwork and these two new art designs, which are pretty cool. I can uh, open this up and show you guys maybe. I don't know if I'll need to because a lot of these... 4Ks have the same exact artwork on them. So, here we are. Look at these guys. A thing of beauty. So, first of all, here is the Child's Play Part 1 4K. And if this looks familiar, this is the artwork from the Blu-ray release. And this is a three-disc set. Now, just look at these special features on the back. Yeah, I was going to read all these off, but this is a lot of stuff. The first disc is the 4K, then we also have a Blu-ray on disc 2, and the third disc is all special features, which there are a lot of special features on part 2. Uh, yeah, we got new 2022 4K scan of the original camera negative, new Dolby Ultimus track for part 1, audio commentary with director Tom Holland, audio commentary with actors Alex Vinson and Katherine Hicks, and Chucky designer Kevin Yeager, audio commentary with producer David Kirshner and screenwriter Don Mancini and select select scene commentary by Chucky. So that's three different commentaries and the fourth one I'm very interested in a select commentary by Chucky. So yeah, this is this is exciting stuff and we have a lot of brand new interviews from this past year. So yeah, once again, I'll just hold that there and you can pause it if you want to get a better shot of it. I should probably do it without the wrap. I'm going to open these up. I got to. Gotta open them up now. Tell me in the comments what you guys think of the Child's Play franchise. In my opinion, one through three, that's one of the best trilogies in uh, horror history because everything after that, it's like Bride and Seed are kind of their own thing, and then Colt and, uh, Colt and Curse are kind of their own thing too. Okay, so a lot of times in these Scream Factory releases, you'll have the reversible art, first of all. Things intact. Look at that. Even the artwork on these discs are really cool. I like like that blue tint to it. 
Oh yeah. Now as for the reversible art, right there, that's the original artwork. I know a lot of people were kind of complaining that the uh, two and three had the original artwork and also got like new artwork for this, these additional slips I'll show you, but part one didn't. I would have liked the original artwork on the slip myself, but you know, I have the same gripes as most everyone about this, but that's just because we're particular people as collectors. So yeah, look how much better that looks. I actually uh, have visited this uh, apartment from part one. I'll show you right there. You can see right there. That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so there's part one. Very impressive. Three disc set. I think about $24, $29 on Amazon right now. And you can still get a lot of these bundles through Scream Factory. Then we have part two. There's that classic uh, artwork that we were all scared of as kids. Okay, I'm just going to rip this plastic off now. I think, first of all, because I thought the glare maybe affected what you could see. So maybe there's a little better shot. Yeah, the glare did affect it. So special features for part one. If I can get this open, come on. All right, there we are, part two. I love part two. A lot of people think this is better than the first one. The scene at the end in the Toy Factory is absolutely unbelievable. Now, this is just a two-disc set. The first one has a new 4K scan of the original camera negative. Audio commentary with John Lafia and a bunch of new special features on the Blu-ray edition, which this is a first-time release through Scream Factory Child's Play 2. So that's pretty cool right there. And I did see watching uh, someone else's video, how cool is that? That these 4Ks of 2 and 3 do not have a reversible slip, which is kind of strange to me, but it is, it is what it is, man. So hell yeah, Child's Play 3. Now I was going to say the red-headed stepchild of the original trilogy, no pun intended. Child's Play 3. Now, a lot of people don't like this movie for some reason. I love Part 3. Maybe it's the age I've seen it growing up. I know it was released like a year or less than a year after Part 2, so they kind of rushed production, but I like the whole like military camp and Andy is like an older kid and everything. So, yeah, this looks great here. Uh, new 4K scan of the original camera negative, new audio commentary by director Jake Bender, audio commentary by producer Robert Lith and Brown, and Disc 2 is the Blu-ray of the movie. Uh, once again, first time release through Scream Factory. Tons of special features on the second disc. Check that out. Right up here. A dumbbelly, dumbbelly, dumbbelly. <laughs> I've seen a meme that was like this. It was like, man, when you're getting older, you know, I'm about to, my body keeps creaking. I'm about to a dumbbelly, dumbbelly, somebody or <laughs> some shit. So, so we have the original artwork there. discs right there i love like these blue discs the tints of blue with the red on it that just looks really cool to me yeah that's awesome now something strange i found about this set that came out was they give you the alternate slips i always wondered about that when i got kind of new into collecting through screen factory i i still have like an alternate slip for uh my Bloody Valentine, which I don't use. Uh, I really like the alternate slips for like Night of the Creeps and Return of the Living Dead, but I wonder sometimes, like, why have these extra slips? Because, I, you know, it, I know they might be worth money someday, but, like, I don't really need these extra slips just sitting around for no reason, you know what I mean? Seems wasteful, but I wish they would have just done this artwork for all three of them. They didn't do original artwork for part one for some reason. But these are the alternate slips I got with it. Look at part two. Now tell me that's not like the coolest shit. So what I'm actually going to do right now. I know some people are just keeping these stored away. They like the original artwork. Like I do love the original art on two and three. If they had the original art on the slip for part one, I might keep the theatrical slips. 
but sometimes I like the new slip new artwork with the original underneath I think that's a pretty good look so that's how I'm shelving this one up and like I said now I just have this extra Chucky sleeve I guess I have some of these blank blu-ray cases for when I get like movies from some you know used movies and I, I want like a newer case I don't you know you get like the sticky case you know or whatever so I, I'll just slide these uh slips on these empty blu-ray cases for now I guess but then here is part three now that's the stuff of nightmares you know right when Chucky was going to get the crew cut so once again I'm going to slip this one out pun intended and look how good that looks So in theory, this first artwork doesn't look as bad with these new slips along with it. One happy dude right now. And I'm also going to get this NECA that comes with it. I'm not a big toy collector, but I like when they release these NECAs with some Scream Factory releases. It's like a burnt Chucky from part one after he goes in the fireplace, but it doesn't come out till December for whatever reason. But here is an image of the NECA. So right there, how cool is that? And like I said, I, I was thinking about opening the posters, but it's pretty much the same artwork. Screw it, I'm going to open it. Screw it. Child's Play 3. The original Child's Play. new artwork for two I'll probably hang up see not all these I don't need five Chucky posters it's pretty hard not to hang up these new the new art there's three and then the classic part two now I can get into more detail about these movies like I said I'll make a further video talking about how much I love these movies but I absolutely love them if I think horror gets a bad reputation with a lot of like remakes that suck because if you really look at a lot of these franchises like there's a lot of duds in all of them like there's a lot of shitty Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies there's a lot of shitty Halloween movies but we love them all anyways I'd say the Child's Play franchise has some of the best most consistent movies through a whole franchise because like I said I love one two and three uh one or two of my favorite it will flip any day of the week but I love part three Bride of Chucky I was never a big fan of but it's pretty fun uh See to Chucky's terrible, terrible. And I like Curse and Cult of Chucky. I mean, Curse was a little better, but yeah, I digress. I can get more into those later. If you guys have any more questions about these releases, let me know in the comments. Let me know what your favorite Child's Play movie is, and if you're planning on picking these up. Once again, one more look. Part one. Part two. And part three. Beautiful. Now that I finally got these open and everything, I'll probably give these a watch later. I gotta get ready to get out the door for a GLWA show, but anyways, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys. Hope everyone's having a good one. Uh, other than that, Blood Guts Gore. I'll check you guys next time.